Hi, I wanted to share with you um, some additions that I'm going to be adding to the uh, patriotic themed July daily. Um, these are some jelly, page, jelly print pages that I um, created and then uh, put as a printout. Then created um, some other images with text on them. And so I have three of these. And then what I did was I gessoed over the top of it and then sprayed some blue mica powder to give it some shimmer. So what I have here is three pages that I am going to create um, journaling opportunities, right? So each one of them will be a little bit different. This one I folded into a, a point before I sewed it, right? And then I zigzagged around it in a messy fashion. Uh, this whole thing is kind of a um, home style, just just easy going journal. It's nothing, nothing to uh, stress over. So I'm going to fold this up and then tuck this over. And then what I'm going to do, now you see that I took an eight and a half by 11, but it was trimmed down because I had a edge on there from my printer. And um, what I want to do, I'm trying to decide, that bird won't do it, but there was another item that I had. So what I found is a piece of red cardstock shimmer uh, color on both sides, not that that matters. I found this sticker in the things that I collected up to uh, have opportunities to decide to use into this journal. And this says live, laugh, and love in red. So what I'd like to do is put this on top of here. Right. Now, the thing is, is to make this work the way I want it to, I need to attach this to where just the edge of it will go over my point so that it can be a little closure, right? So right about there. So what that means is that the top of this needs to be attached in some way. Um, stapling would be good, but I won't be able to get my stapler um, to the center. So I'm going to glue this down, show you right here, about halfway, right? So I'm going to hold that there, make sure that it's covering that enough to keep it closed because that's the point of it. And then I'm going to look for a clamp. I'm not sure if it'll go in far enough, but it will at least keep it where I want it now. I'm going to take and I have a little bit of glue coming out of the edge, so I'm just going to scrape that off. There we go. So now we're going to let that one dry. We'll talk about the other ones. Okay, so that's one way to create it and uh, close it and have the little doodads. It will also be able to be decorated more and or done other things with. Um, let's do work on this one. This one, let's go ahead and cut off. The threads just wanted to add a little bit of texture to my project by sewing on it. Not all of them needed. Okay, so what I wanted to do, I didn't want that point to be quite so big, so I'm going to try to figure out a way, but I'm not sure. I think if I fold it over like that, and then like this, I can create another, there we go, so that's what I'm looking for, just another way, so now we would need another closure type area here, a uh, closure type. So here's the journal that we're working to put things into right there. Um, they ha I have other shapes that I could work with or I could work with, um, I, you know, there's always the idea of magnets. We skip the extra work. Let's do that. Make sure it will work well with our print. 
Wow, that's a lot of loud stuff. Almost like these little squares here. So this is just a little uh, six by six that I picked up years ago when I used to do greeting cards for my family. And so I uh, definitely thought of them when it was time to do this. So the reds just aren't quite the same reds and the blues aren't quite the same blues. Just, just not. But I wonder if I could make, I think I could make this one work. I could even cut the tag out of this, but now that I've cut it out, it'll be harder. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, I could cut that in half even. And I wonder, so we want this right here and this fold. So let's glue that and then we can throw a staple in it because it's on the side the way it is. Let's round these corners though. That always looks just a little bit more, it gives it just a little bit more detail. There we go. Okay, could distress it too, but I'm not going to because I'm going to take the extra time to do some other things. So this is going to go here. So let's get this glue. So we only want the glue on the back. All right, we want it right up against there. And I'm thinking that we can still staple the bottom easily. Just get a nice little secure staple in there. Let's go ahead for the sake of drawing that we do this. Go to the next one. Then we'll come back to those in a minute. Now the other one we're not going to worry about doing the fancy folding at all as far as having anything to close it. It's just those are fun to do and I always forget about them until I see someone else do them and I'm like, oh, that's right. Just that little added bit of effort brings it to a whole nother level. Okay, so this one we will just fold and fourths. And then this will go into a tuck spot, but we got to figure out. I think I like this would be the front. All right. Okay, so this would be the front. And you could go like that. So now what I was thinking about doing with these, and I don't know if I want to do it on the inside or the outside, but I grabbed the stuff I would need to do a 2020 on here, or just 20. 20 would work. Let's just try 20 for now. Uh, no sense trying to line up everything and getting it done perfect all at once. So I have a brand new one of these. And I was thinking about using the VersaFine. Alrighty, that looks pretty saturated. So now the two and the zero. I won't try to do them at the same time, but I do want to line them up a little bit. Okay, so I think that will work. So I'm going to try it. Wow, guys, that's looking pretty good. And then the 20, zero, the zero, two, zero. Let's try this. Subversifying, I will say, is very good ink. And my topper, or my uh, ink pad is still in good condition. If they're getting older, they won't transfer the ink as well. All righty. Wow. Wow, 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 right? 
Okay, so that's an option for doing on the inside too. And then there's also um, stamping and stenciling and all of this. But um, this one in particular, wow, I really like that. That is so graphic. It worked out so well. Almost looks like velvet, you guys. That is awesome. So let's say I take this out, right? And I want to journal on it. So I have, um, I'm going to test this pen out to see what would happen. This white pen does make a mark on it, but I wouldn't try to write with it. So that would leave you with, um, I wouldn't use micron pens that's the only thing i would use but uh most pens would work fine over top of the gesso is what i've been told i've used it before and it's worked fine so um for stamp the rose i have a rose stamp that um i probably put away no i didn't it's right here thank you sorry so this is on some of the um images inside of um another journal I'm doing but a rose it would be perfect for me because Portland is the rose city so Portland Oregon is considered the rose city and we'll just put a black rose right there oh wow oh wow and then could you imagine you're journaling right here in a nice black beautiful okay so there's one journaling opportunity okay then this next one, this is pretty well dry. You pop this, this tip point out and you fold it out. Now let's do something similar because it looks so well over there, but let's put the 20 in here and maybe we'll put the rose on the outside of that one. Plenty of room. Okay, so I'm gonna do this again. If you haven't tried Versify ink, you definitely should. It needs to be over a little bit. And I'm tapping, not rubbing. And the reason being is that I will have more opportunity to shift my stencil around if I try to if I try to rub. Whereas if I just tap, it seems to go well. Okay, so there we go. Now set that aside, bring the 20 here. Put that right next to it. Trying to make sure I get those edges very saturated because that's my nice crisp line. And then go make it through the center. It's just as well. And there we go. Okay, so now we have that on the inside, which I'm going to quickly move some heat over because I don't want it to smear. I would be sad to do all that work, have everything look perfect, and then fold it up to see where I want to put the other stuff. So I think I want to put the rose right here. So that's what I'll do. Take the rose, put it in again. Try to center it as best as I can. There we go. Okay, so this is the other journaling opportunity. It has been sewn, folded up, has a closure, has a rose. You could do so much more with it, but that's what I've done uh, with it today. And then this one, we'll get this off of here. And we haven't uh, stenciled or done anything. We've only folded this one. There, that's what we've done so far. Now, the cool thing about this, I think, let's do this. Cool thing about this one, once it's all going to get down and flattened and really in its in its way, is is that we could add a smaller uh, tag right there. All right, so this could be this could be just layered up like crazy. That was my plan. There we go. Now I printed this out on gray so that it wouldn't be drastically white you know it would have and this could be another tuck spot i think i might do that just because i can i mean i don't need one there but if i wanted to put something there i could so let's do this 
layer that on there so that holds it and then if we wanted to which i'm going to end up having to make some, some smaller tags but let's say something you know look how that'll fit in there that will work really well so we'll let that one dry these two have been stenciled and stamped looking pretty good all we have to do is do our writing and find our tuck spot for it and that's the what when we call um finishing touches um ephemera in your um journals this is what we're referring to the bits and pieces that go in there and get layered up this one is important i wanted this one in there um i haven't necessarily decided where but i don't i do know that i want this one in there as like a tuck spot because uh, I thought it was cute. Okay, so let's do this. Let's look and see what our opportunities are for tuck spots to start putting some things in. Because this is the thing. We've gotten the cover done, right? We sewed in our signatures. We have our closure done. Um, there's a lot that's been done. This, this needs to be taken care of. Um, we need more pockets and tucks and things. And so that's what we're going to work on right now. I could incorporate more of this rose in there too. Now this, I didn't realize I'd be able to see the glue like that. So that's going to be a problem. But this is a make it work moment. They come and go in life. And it, it's not anything that can't be worked around. All we got to do is find what we want to find to layer up on top of that and in my uh, box of goodies over here I have all sorts of like I have some blue shimmer that could go over that and then have some of it show on the outside I have the blue wrapping paper with the stars this is an envelope um, I have bits of the pages of inside of the book that I could layer there I might like that Let's see, this was here, and I tore it right about there. How would that look? That would be a nice layer. But I do see that there's a white edge. I am trying really hard to figure out with my printer how to do borderless, but I just have gotten to the point where it's like I'm just not going to fight with the printer anymore. I want to enjoy my day, so uh, I'll just cut this off. Oh, that sounds terrible. I apologize. These are awesome scissors though because they do have little teeth on there that they don't, the paper doesn't shift around on you. So these are Tim Holtz. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and distress the edges of this so that it stands out a little bit on there. And then we'll get right to it. This side already has ink on it for whatever reason. So I'm going to... So we could use either side. I think I'm going to use this side because that's the side that we do. All right. So I'm going to ink this up. And this is a page of the um, digital kit that I have at melodymade.com. It's a uh, patriotic blues, reds, and whites. Some jelly prints. Some digital altered prints. There we go. There we go. So let's put this up here. And this one, the glue won't show through. So we can go ahead. That paper in the back, the stars, is deli paper. And so I probably should have put it on with matte gel instead of a glue like this. That would have been better. But it's okay. Like I said, there's always a way. Make it work moments. So I'm going to try to make sure this goes up to this edge so that I can still see some of the paper there because I want it to layer, not cover completely. There, I like that. I like that a lot. Now I had cut this out to go here because um, I have sad news. Um, it's been... Um, like 10, 12 days, but um, not even that long. My dog passed away suddenly and without any warning. 
and uh, so I wanted to add and her she was a black lab and beagle mix but her dad was a yellow lab and so this made me think of her and it made me smile and that's what I think journals should do I think that journals whether it's the person you're giving it to or yourself or both hopefully Let's see, I want to put something under there because I always put something under so that the, it has the, the curve is already there. Does that make sense? If I glue it down tight and don't put something in there, then it struggles to have something in there. So that's just the way that I do it to try to um, keep myself from having that struggle. Okay, so this reminds me of molly even though she was a black dog her her dad was a um, yellow lab and so this will remind me of her and that'll make me miss her but smile at the same time you know we gotta we gotta have our positive memories we can't avoid thinking about them just because they're not here anymore um so now um let's see there are some pages that that i kind of want to leave because this is the thing this is going to be my um july daily right so if I start writing or gluing or, or whatever, I need, that's why I wanted to make these and share them with you guys, because I, I'm going to need to write in here. This is a, this is going to be a daily journal or, uh, you know, at least weekly. So I need to keep some pages. This is um, a tuck spot and I'm wondering, it's probably too small for this to be secure, but that actually might work. And I haven't gotten that figured out yet. See, that's the thing is I really, and I think I'll do that when I do the daily part of it. I think instead of just showing you, okay, I wrote this in here or I glued this in here. Um, I wanted to um, like finish up details. I like that there better. Okay. So anyways, um, I want to leave this open for interpretation. I might want to add something there. I might want to, oh, maybe that's where this will go. Where's the sticker? I had a sticker, I'll tell you guys, if I could find anything when I really wanted it, it would be amazing. This is what will go here. This is what will go on here for sure. There'll be more, but this will just be one thing. This page would have been really the only page that this color would have worked with because of the jelly printing. There was some variations of the blue Ooh, right there that worked with this. Perfect. So I've used two of these stickers. I don't know. I guess don't forget would be good for right here. Don't forget Molly. And I won't forget her, but you know. And then this is like a tab that says important. So I'll save that for another thing. So um, I may I may put this one here. And I'll write about this experience um, leading up to this. Maybe. I don't know. You know, I just don't know. I may do something else, but it's there to decide. Okay. So I've had the word July on there. It's all just the thought process that goes into things. That's, that's what I'm sharing more than anything. Um, and then this page I'm not really excited about, and this would pop really well over here. So let's add something here that would make it a tuck spot for that. So to do that, what I can do is grab oh and i have i have these that i need to incorporate but i'm not sure that i can make them a tuck spot so i'll have to really think about that i have to think 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 it through now this is another thing that i wanted to incorporate and this might be an okay spot let's see i needed to get this eagle but i don't know I don't know. I kind of like this over here. I don't know. I'm not going to stress about it. I'm going to give myself the freedom to think about it and not pressure myself into just trying to finish it. I'm looking over here for a, um, a punch. This one. Let's see if we like how this looks. It may not be the style that we're wanting but it's a beautiful punch it's okay what did i do wrong did I do something wrong there we go that's what i'm looking for that's what i'm talking about that click that's what i needed 
one more. So this is um, cardstock. It's it's, it's uh, colored on both sides, and I think that that will be a nice look right there. Let's see if I can pull the camera over. Um, to have a little tuck spot. And the cool thing about this is I can glue it and staple it because of the way this is set up. So it'll be very secure. So I'm going to do the glue. Actually, I'm going to round these corners because this just is going to bug me. Pet peeve, OCD, whatever you want to call it. Come on, glue. Let's see right there. Now I'm going to grab my stapler and I'm going to staple there. There and here. There we go. And I could add more to that to dress that up, right? I could, uh, like on here where we have some rhinestones, some trims, some things, I could do that. And I probably will, but my most important thing right now is I need somewhere. And I think I'm going to close off these edges. Like this. So we took a calendar page, a calendar page and made it into a journal page. And then even though it's there, we still just covered up a little bit. Okay, so there's that. That looks nice. So I have one more to get in here, right? If I'm not mistaken. Sorry. This one. And this one, we went ahead and put a tuck spot here for a small one. And we knew that we could do a tuck spot here for a small one. So I'm like, I need to make about three or four tags that are half the size of these for that kind of thing. And then I'm wondering, this would probably be best, maybe uh, this would be best to put in with a clamp. So let's find, we have a fab or a scarf here, fabric, um, the little apples. Let's do this one here, or here. This will give us, so instead of um, putting that in a pocket, we're gonna clamp this one on in here. And then we, I can uh, make a charm for this, like what I have here, but not as big and large. This one's made for this, but I haven't uh, gotten it in here yet. I don't know. Um, here's a fun tab. Oh, I put in my Corona, reference to Corona. There we go. There, we put the um, heart in. And this is just so big it really is it's one of those things and then this is the bonus part of the video um, that I did last that's on my my corona page um, this is a bag that I can put receipts and things in to save and then this circle tuck right there which this might be I don't know if that'll fit Will that fit? It will. That's what I'm going to do. Because this is such a strong page right here because it's the, one of the covers. I'm going to do that and that will just tie that all together. I don't know if that'll stay in there. That really needs to be like on a tassel or something. Speaking of tassels, that's what's going to be in the next video. But I want to say thank you so much for jumping in and watching this with me or uh, watching me get this put together. And I want to um, encourage you to um, do some things out of the box or try something new. And then tell me in the comments how it went because I would love to hear about it. So we have this one and this one. And we did the front. Got that front inside cover. Uh, made a memorial to my dog Molly. And um, got this one ready. And then this one we tucked in with this. And I'm saying that I think what I'll do is find um, a bulb pin and add a little charm up here. So, but I do, I do want this. I know what I should do. Let's see if we can do this. We don't know, but we'll try. But you know what? We don't know until we try. So that's, that's the kicker. That is the kicker is just keep trying. So let's try this. Here's a scrap. This looks good there for now. Just so it has something 
I just because I wanted something there. So thank you ladies and I will see you in one more video about this because what I really want to do is finish up as much as I can because uh, I'm going to be starting um, videos on uh, actually uh, using this right so we got to get it done got to get those spots in there now I did uh, grab some pens in case I wanted to um, write in here anything let's see this one could be distressed I don't know I my writing is I'm not necessarily proud of my writing but let's see not the front but the back let's say that we write on here this journal is a collab with Sarah and um, this would be July 2020 perfect so that way and this is some new pens that I got this way um, I won't forget and if I punch the hole in it which Crop it out a little bit out of my reach. But if I go ahead and punch the hole in here, I can add add some um, yarn or tassels or something to it. And then I think I'm gonna have to cover up that front now because the, the pin went through it, but that's okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. So there we go. So there's the what this journal is for. I'll write in here because see we're going on vacation the first week of July. So I'm going to take this with me and I'm going to work on it, write in it, enjoy it, and then come back and share with you guys. Okay. So I want to say thank you so much for joining me for this. And uh, there will be another video because I still have some more things to incorporate and it's going to be so fun. Thank you. Bye-bye.